When um, Dick first arrived here 26 years ago, he came with the same emphasis and the same enthusiasm that each and every one of us came with. He never lost that enthusiasm. Never. Not even up to the last day. He was planning on coming back another term. He was committed to passing a transportation bill yet this fall. He had his heart set on that. And we, we all come here, and sometimes um, it's been mentioned previously by the speaker, been mentioned here by the leader, but Dick truly did love this institution. And he, and he loved the members from both sides of the aisle. I remember so many of our colleagues on the other side and would come over, and they would come back to what they refer to as Chairman's Row back here, the last four chairs in on the end. And prior to me sitting back there, I'm sitting in Dick's old chair right now, but prior to that, it was guys like Merle Phillips. It was guys like um, Russ Fairchild, who sitting where gentlemen from Tioga is sitting. Gentlemen like Rick Geist and Dick, of course. And those four guys would bring people in. They'd be talking about hunting, fishing, you name it. They, they had, a, they had a, an opinion on it, no matter what. And I remember the gentleman from Cambria County, um, Ed Wanorowski, would come over. And he and Dick would get into it because Dick liked to play pranks, too, on people. And he pulled pranks all the time to probably a lot of us. But stories he told, the laughter that came out of this section back there, I thought we would get thrown out of the house more than once by the speaker because there was a lot of laughter going on back in the back here because Dick understood that this is a job. He took it very seriously. He took the legislation very seriously but he also took each and every one of you very seriously. And he wanted that personal relationship. So he tried to get to know you, and he did. He reached out to many. And that's the institution that I remember whenever I came in. And it seems that we've lost some of that. And I think we need to get that back. And Dick had a message here today. For all of you, I would think that message would be that we need to get back to collegiality of this house, getting back to doing the people's business, what's good for Pennsylvania. And I remember when I first came in, I, I um, didn't know who to talk to, get advice, whether I should run for the house. At the time, I was Blair County prothonotary and clerk of court, so I went to Bedford County, and I talked to a former prothonotary clerk of court in Bedford County, Representative Hess. Now, I went to his district office between Dick and all the animals they had in his office. Um, I got in, but Dick was quite an avid hunter, as most of you know, and surely wouldn't let any of those animals come back home. So um, they stayed in um, the office. I'm sure that they were quite interesting topics of conversation, because our district is quite a, our area is quite a hunting district, fishing district. And Dick had fish, he had, he had everything imaginable, mounted. He was quite an avid outdoorsman. And he was serious whenever it got to be turkey season or bear season or deer season, he was ready to get on the turnpike and get back home, go hunting with Jeff. Gentlemen like him, and he was a gentleman, and it was a pleasure to sit next to him. But I remember when I came in, there were five prothonotaries. The um, clerk had a difficult time pronouncing prothonotary this morning. But there were five prothonotaries at the time it was Ruth Rudy from Center County, and it was um, Kurt Schroeder, 
Tom Dempsey, Dick Hess, myself. With Dick's passing, we're down to one prothonotary. And Dick was quite proud of that. He'd always say about the prothonotaries in the house. And every year when one would retire, one would step aside, he'd comment about it. But I want to especially give tribute, gratitude, appreciation to his wife, Shirley, today. Shirley put up with Dick's public service, and he served the public diligently for 48 years. 48 years. Served as chief clerk, prothonotary, then as a state legislator. But Shirley had the patience to give him to Bedford County and to the 78th District. Shirley has a tremendous amount of patience. She's a great woman. I've known her for many years. Dick loved her beyond all conditions. He loved Jeff. And he especially loved Lizette as well, but the grandchildren were always the apple of his eye. And he'd always be telling stories back there about his grandchildren. It was always family first. We'll miss him here in the House of Representatives. But let's not forget some of the things he stood for. Let's not forget respect for not only the institution, but respect for one another.